Serial killers are some of the most fascinating criminals out there. They often have high IQs and are very methodical in their crimes. Many people are drawn to their stories, trying to understand what would drive someone to kill. These are the top four most attractive serial killers. 4. Aileen Wernos Aileen Wernos is one of the most notorious serial killers of our time. She was arrested and convicted of killing six men in Florida between 1989 and 1990, and was executed in 2002. Wernos was a troubled woman who had a difficult childhood. She was sexually abused by her grandfather and ran away from home at the age of 15. She turned to prostitution to support herself and soon developed a drug addiction. It is believed that her years of abuse and exploitation led her to snap and start killing men. While some people believe that Wernos was a cold-blooded killer, others believe that she was simply a victim of her circumstances. Either way, her story is a tragic one. Her victims were all men who had exploited her in some way, and her killings were a way of lashing out at the men who had hurt her. While Wernos will always be remembered as a killer, it is important to remember that she was a victim herself. She was a product of a society that doesn't value women, and she paid the ultimate price for her rage. 3. John Wayne Gacy John Wayne Gacy is one of the most notorious serial killers in American history. He was convicted of the rape and murder of 33 young men and boys in the 1970s, and was sentenced to death in 1994. Gacy was born in Chicago, Illinois, in 1942. He had a troubled childhood, and was often in trouble with the law. He was first arrested at the age of 18 for assault and battery. In 1967, he was convicted of sodomy and sentenced to 10 years in prison. He was paroled after serving 18 months of his sentence. In 1971, Gacy began working as a clown for children's parties. He would often dress up as Pogo the Clown or Patches the Clown and entertain kids at parties. He would also sometimes dress up as Santa Claus or Easter Bunny. Gacy's murders began in 1972. His first known victim was a 15-year-old boy named Timothy McLean. Gacy lured him into his car with the promise of a party, and then raped and murdered him. Gacy then disposed of McLean's body in the crawl space of his house. Over the next six years, Gacy would rape and murder 33 young men and boys. His victims were all between the ages of 14 and 21. Most of them were white and from middle-class families. Gacy usually lured his victims with the promise of a party or a job. He would then rape and strangle them. He would then dispose of their bodies in the crawl space of his house, or in a nearby river. In 1978, one of Gacy's victims, Robert Pius, disappeared after telling his mother he was going to meet with Gacy about a job. Pius's mother called the police, and they began investigating Gacy. The police found evidence that Gacy had been involved in Pius's murder, and they also found them. 2. Jeffrey Dahmer Jeffrey Dahmer is one of the most notorious serial killers in American history. He committed a series of gruesome murders, often involving rape, dismemberment, and necrophilia. His victims were mostly young men, and he targeted gay men and minorities. Dahmer was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in 1960. His parents were divorced when he was young, and he had a difficult childhood. He was bullied at school and had few friends. His home life was also unstable, his mother was mentally ill and his father was abusive. Dahmer began experimenting with animals when he was a teenager. He would kill them and then dissect their bodies. He later said that he did this to see how they worked. He also began drinking alcohol at a young age and would often get blackouts. In 1978, Dahmer murdered his first human victim, a young man he had picked up at a bar. He strangled him and then dismembered his body. He kept the man's skull as a souvenir. Over the next few years, Dahmer killed several more people. He usually lured them to his apartment, where he would drug them and then rape and kill them. He would often keep parts of their bodies, such as heads or skulls. In 1991, Dahmer was finally caught when one of his victims escaped and alerted the police. They found gruesome evidence of his crimes at his apartment, including body parts in the refrigerator. Dahmer was sentenced to life in prison, where he was killed by a fellow inmate in 1994. Jeffrey Dahmer was a disturbed individual who took out his anger and frustration on innocent victims. He was a menace to society and his crimes still shock and disgust people today. 1. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy is one of the most prolific serial killers in American history. He confessed to 30 murders, but it is estimated that he may have killed as many as 100 people. Bundy was charming and intelligent, which made him all the more dangerous. He preyed on young women, luring them into his web of deception. 
He was a master of manipulation, and he used this skill to his advantage. Bundy was a cold-blooded killer who took pleasure in harming others. He was a sadist who enjoyed inflicting pain on his victims. He was a predator who stalked his prey like an animal. He was a monster who should have never been let out into society. And yet, despite all of this, Ted Bundy was able to charm his way into the hearts of many. He had a charisma that was undeniable. He was able to make people believe that he was a good person, even when they knew he was capable of terrible things. This ability to deceive is what made Ted Bundy so dangerous. He was able to convince people to let their guard down, and that is when he would strike. He was a master of manipulation, and he used this skill to his advantage. Bundy was a predator who preyed on the innocent and the vulnerable. He was a monster who should have never been let out into society. And yet, despite all of this, he was able to charm his way into the hearts of many. This ability to deceive is what made Ted Bundy so dangerous. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.